hello everyone so this today we are going to discuss about important softwares used in metallurgy and material science field so suppose if you have x-ray diffraction data electron back scatter or diffraction data transmission electron microscopy data and if you have a microstructural images and if you want to predict the phase diagram and for a phase field modeling and also uh, like if you have some uh, like this a data analysis so for these kind of thing uh, which is the best software that we can uh, used uh, in our field so in this video we are going to discuss about that so first one is the x-ray diffraction data so for x-ray diffraction data we have the uh, eight most used software so first one is pan analytical expert high score second one is mod maud third one is full proof uh, for a uh, fourth one is match fifth one is qualex Sixth one is Jade, seventh one is Topaz, eighth one is GSAS. So these are the eight uh, important uh, software that you can use for this X-ray diffraction data analysis. The most used is Pan Analytical Expert High Score Plus we can use. So what kind of uh, results we can uh, get it from this X-ray diffraction data analysis? The most important thing is phase identification so if you are so if you have unknown phases in your uh, in your this material so you can uh, get it from this particular uh, so yeah so from these software so you can get it and if you uh, and if you wanted to know the crystal structure of that phases are your material and are you uh, are are you wanted to know the this crystallite size lattice micro strain so these are are important features you can get it from x-ray diffraction data so for uh, electron back scattered diffraction software so there are mainly a uh, four important software mtex atex and az tech hkl and fourth one is tsl ym apex software so uh, the first two mtex and atex are the free available software so these you can download it from the uh, uh, from their website and you can uh, this use it for the evst uh, this EVSD uh, data analysis. So, what are the important features uh, we can uh, get it from EVSD uh, data analysis? Like, if you wanted to know the grain size analysis, this uh, grain size distribution, if you wanted to know the misorientation distribution, and the most important thing, texture analysis. So, uh, this uh, micro texture, micro texture analysis, this software can be used. And also, if you wanted to know the some in depth, uh, in depth information like. Uh, a grain boundary uh, this grain boundary characterization so what kind of a grain boundary is present in your material so for these important uh, uh, features uh, we can uh, this use this EBSD software so from these all four software you can get all these things but the uh, uh, this uh, most important thing is that that mtex and atex is free available software so for a uh, phase diagram uh, this uh, predictions there are mainly two software available thermocalc the most used software you can use uh, so you can say that second one is fact says a uh, fact says is also uh, this uh, one important uh, software that can predict the phase diagram so these are the two software that you, uh, that you can use for the phase diagram prediction so for data analysis and plotting there are mainly four kind of software are available first one is origin second one is matlab third one is Microsoft Excel also you can use fourth one is lab plot so these are the four software available and we can uh, so uh, we will be going to uh, discuss in details in upcoming videos regarding the like demonstration of origin software demonstration of MATLAB so how you can uh, do the analysis so for this uh, data analysis and software and for this plotting software there are mainly four available now uh, for FEM simulation software, so there are basically four kind of software here. I'm 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 telling about Avacus, Ansys, Simu Fact Forming, and Deform 3D. So this Deform 3D is used for the for large scale deformation like uh, uh, like forging, extrusion, swaging. These kind of thing you can use in Deform 3D. But most use Avacus and Ansys is the most used. Then yes so image j software image j software is open source software for processing and analyzing scientific images and it's uh, and it is available free of cost you can download it from image j website and you can process your uh, your uh, microstructure images for like grain size determination and for editing your microstructure so this image j is 
the best one. Yes, uh, there is one another software known as MatCalc. So this MatCalc software is used for simulation of phase transformation and microstructural evolution in metallic system. So these kind of features you can do in this software like constrained and unconstrained phase equilibria, precipitation kinetics, long range diffusion, simultaneous diffusion and precipitation, micro segregation and primary precipitation formation, microstructural this evolution like dislocation density and grain size and, and, and etc. So for these kind of features you can use MatCalc software. So there is one another software known as JMAT Pro. So JMAT Pro is used for the practical software for uh, this uh, material property. So if you wanted to know the property of any material, any unknown material, so this JMAT Pro is the software that you can use for your research purpose. Another uh, another one is Pandat software. So Pandat software is an integrated modeling platform for multi-component phase diagram calculation and metal property uh, this uh, simulation. So there are basically uh, different uh, tools available in this software like pan phase diagram, pan diffusion, pan precipitation, pan solidification. So you can get it uh, the this um, uh, uh, this more uh, detail about this software on 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 their this official website. So you can get it how you can use this software for your research purpose for a reference yeah if you are doing any kind of research or uh, if you are preparing any kind of report and you wanted to put a referencing tool so there are basically three referencing tools software available endnote mendeley and and this jotero so but this uh, mendeley is the most recommended and the software it's a free of cost available also so for a referencing or for reading uh, these papers and also if you have, have uh, this a lot of uh, research uh, this research papers available uh, in your system so you wanted to uh, manage uh, based on the research field so this kind of software is used for referencing for managing your papers and also for uh, reading your papers so this is the best tool you can use thank you so much for for listening this video and and this we will come up with the demonstration of this software in our upcoming video so thank you so much